Wendy. And one of my favorite celebrity chefs is Gordon Ramsay. And he always says one of the dishes that he loves to prepare is an omelette. And I agree with him. There are so many varieties of the omelette. You can get a country omelette. You can get a French omelette. You can also get a classic omelette. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make the Bajan omelette. So let's go over the ingredients. We have three large brown eggs. Now, if you have white eggs, you may use those. We have a quarter teaspoon of Bajan seasoning, a pinch of salt and a pinch of white pepper, one tablespoon of chopped onion, one tablespoon of chopped sweet pepper, red, but if you have the green one, you can also use that, and one leaf of spinach, which we chopped finely to add the extra iron. One or two tablespoons of cheese, depending on your preference, half of a small tomato chopped, and butter for frying. One sprig of parsley chopped. Now these ingredients are enough to make an omelette for one person. But if you're making an omelette for more than one person in your family, just multiply the ingredients accordingly. Now I'm gonna crack the eggs into the bowl. One by one, we need to be sure these eggs are good. Then I'll show you the next step. Right, this is the last egg so we have all three of our eggs here now we're going to add our onion sweet pepper and our spinach to the mix and then we're going to add our Bajan seasoning pinch of salt and a pinch of black a pinch of white pepper and we're going to whisk it all together this is going to taste really good and finally, we'll add our sprig of parsley, which will bring a freshness to our egg. All Bajans love parsley. In order to get a really good omelette, the pan that you use is important. So you must have a really good non-stick pan. So now we have our pan on medium heat. We're going to add the butter. And the amount of butter that you use will be dependent on the size pan that you're using because the butter must be all over the pan. Even though we're using a non-stick pan, we need the butter to be all over. And when the butter has melted sufficiently, we are going to add our omelette. We're going to add our egg <laughs> to make the omelette. It smells so good. Make sure we get all of it in there and allow it to cook. You will see the edges starting to firm up already. That will help us to see that it is cooking. This entire process will take about four to five minutes. But you can't go anywhere, you need to stay with the egg to make sure it does not burn. So I'm going to take the spatula, I'm going to go around the edges just to make sure that they are lifting nicely from the saucepan. That's why I said it's essential to have a non-stick pan that really aids in having a good omelette. So we're going to just push and pull just to make sure that the edges of the omelette are lifted nicely as we get ready to fold. Once we had our first fold done, we're gonna get our tomato, our chopped tomato, and our cheese, and we're gonna put that just on the edges of the outside of the egg. When you bite into it, it is gonna give the egg such a freshness because the tomato will not have cooked through completely. And the cheese, the cheese is going to help the outside edge to stick closely onto the egg when we do the final fold so there's no opening up the ch cheese is going to make everything nice and cohesive this is the way barbadians love to eat an omelette three folds a nice beautiful color on the outside perfect for breakfast Our omelette is done. 
one virgin omelette. It is now complete with another sprig of parsley. You know what I told you about virgins and parsley? You always must have, add a sprig of parsley to complete the dish. One virgin omelette. It smells really good. Now it's time to taste. Nice and soft. Perfect breakfast. I'm sure Gordon Ramsay would be proud. One Beijing omelette. Just look at that lovely glisten. A beautiful color. Smells great. And I'm sure it's going to taste just as good. Mmm. The perfect bite, so delicious, perfect for your breakfast. Now you've heard of country omelette, French omelette, and classic omelette. Now you can add to your repertoire, Beijing omelette. Now you need to try it. Now if you enjoyed this delicious egg recipe, look over here and see my playlist of other egg recipes. And once you've watched them all, just click the button below, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video. And remember, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you.